Hello, YouTube, and welcome to uh, another tutorial on Java. Um, today, we're going to, going to be doing a pretty cool thing, um, more of an interactive lesson like we did with the login thing. Um, uh, we're going to be using what we've learned with the math and making a simple calculator. Um, please excuse the loud fan in the background. That is my computer fan, which seems to be exploding right now, and I have no idea why. Uh, so if you hear it, just try to ignore it and uh, make it through. But anyway, let's get started. Um, to get started, we're going to import the scanner, because we need to scan in some numbers when we use this. So to do that, we type import, which you've done before, java.util.scanner with an uppercase S, and go down a bit so we can get organized. And let's make an integer and a, boole and a boolean. So we're going to make int answer, not ear, er. And then we're going to make a boolean, correct op equals false. And what this is going to mean is correct operator. Uh, an operator is plus, minus, divide, or subtract. Um, and so that's why we have the boolean to check if the operator was valid and you'll understand that very soon uh... next let's initialize the scanner by doing the scanner scan equals new scanner system dot in semicolon okay and we need to change system dot in to an uppercase s because java is a little bit picky and let's write system out println, and as you know the shortcut S Y S O, hold control and press space, it'll write system out println for you. And then in here we can enter please enter your first number. And then right after that we can do int first number, and we're going to make uh, which is what we're doing is we're declaring an integer named first number. And we're going to do equals scan dot next uh, lowercase n next int. And what that means is we're going to be taking in uh, something that the person types in in the console and save it to the integer first number variable. And then we can write siso control space and then please enter your second number. And we can do int second number equals scan dot next int. And when I used scanner for the first time, I was a little confused um, because we would be using scan dot next int over and over again. Um, and I was the reason I got confused by this is because I had wondered why we were allowed to use the scanner over and over again for tons of different variables if we were entering different uh, lines of text e each time. And the reason for this is because when we scan in what we typed in the console, it actually just gets saved to this variable and then just gets deleted um, from here. So once we scan it into this variable, we are free to use the scanner once again, for example, to scan in another variable. Uh, so that kind of explains a little bit as why we're allowed to use uh, multiple scanners for multiple different things. Um, and now we're going to be writing a lot of system out println below here, so let's write siso and do this, and I'm just going to copy it for future reference because I'm extremely lazy. Um, and then we can do enter and operator, and then that, and let's write um, one equals add, and 2 equals subtract 3, oops, not 1, 3 equals multiply, and 4 equals divide. Great. Um, and then below that, so what we've done is we pretty much just printed to the console all of this text, um, and we're pretty much just telling the user, so if you want to add, press the 1 button, 
you want to subtract, press the 2 button, so on and so forth. And then we can actually make a while loop, which you learned about. So we do while correct op equals equals false. So while the correct operator is false, or the person didn't enter one of these numbers, then we're going to do this. First we're going to declare a variable int entered operation and then we're going to do equals scan dot next int and then below that we're going to do if entered operation uh, equals equals one then we're going to do something in here and I'm going to copy this really quickly um, so because we're going to be doing this multiple times so let me paste this one this one and this one and I can change this to two three and four now I'm also going to need to do something else after this first if, if statement we need to write else um, so it'll pretty much say if entered operation equals one then do this if it does not equal one do another if statement to check if it equals two so we're gonna do that for all of these uh, else if okay and yeah that looks pretty good so right now we're going to start typing this and I'm going to use the auto align uh, tool in Java and I'll show explain what that means so if your code looks unorganized for example it looks something like this somehow manage to get jumbled up what you can do is you can use the auto indent tool in Eclipse where you do control A to select all and then you press control I to align and you'll see that those just got aligned and the code looks a bit more organized um, yeah so that's pretty much how that tool works um, and now we can do answer equals first number plus second number and what this will do is it'll take uh, the first number and it'll add it to the second number and it'll assign it to the variable answer and answer has already been assigned as an integer so it'll come out as a number and um, the reason we're doing add is because if you look here it says equals one and we assigned one to add so that's pretty logical and uh, after that we're going to write SISO or system out print line and then the answer is space plus answer and what we're doing here is we're printing to the console the answer is and then the answer because we did plus and then the variable answer and then right after that to finish this up we're going to do correct oops not correct correct op equals true because we did enter a correct operator when we entered one now we can copy this and we can paste it here here and here we only need to change a few things for two we assign that to subtract subtract so we do minus and then for three we can do multiply which is the asterisk and then for divide we can do the slash or backslash and then so what that'll do is it will print out the answer for all these different operations now what if someone didn't en enter either 4, 3, 2, or 1? What if they entered 5 or 23? Well, we can do an else statement for that. We can do else, and then SISO, um, and then let's type something like incorrect operator, please try again. And what this will do is it will say to the person, you did not enter 1, 2, 3, or 4, so we're going to tell you that you entered the incorrect operator and we're going to ask you to please try again so when we run this it should actually work very well so let's make an attempt okay so let's run it it'll say select resources to save and that's what we want to do and so you can see I am going to drag the console window up if I can grab it okay and you'll say you'll see that it says please enter your first number so let's enter 12 and then for a second number let's enter 6 and it says enter an operator 
Um, and so I want to divide 12 by 6, so I'll press the 4 button, or the 4 key, and press enter. And we'll say the answer is 2, because it did 12 divided by 6. Now we can run this again. And it says, please enter your first number. Let's do 34, and then 873. And we're going to add these by pressing the 1 button. And it says the answer is 907, which is correct. So that's pretty much how this works so far. Um, now let's test if I did not enter a correct operator. So I have 23, and I have 76, and I see 1, 2, 3, and 4, but I make a very bad mistake and I enter 7 rather than 1, 2, 3, or 4, and I press enter. Now instead of freaking out and crashing the program, or not doing anything, it'll actually just say incorrect operator, please try again. And try again, we can just press the run button and it works like a charm. So that's uh, the tutorial on how to make a simple console calculator uh, in Java. I will be posting all of this source code on Pastebin so you may view it later on. And I want to thank you for watching and I will talk to you in the next video.